to blame. And so everybody has their faults. I am definitely not a perfect individual by any means. You know, I partied using the book. I want my family back. I grew up poor. I'm an immigrant. What are the fuck excuses you get? But at the end of the day, you know, man, the moment I stopped making excuses and stopped crying was when I started becoming successful. It's And you, you don't become successful overnight, guys. I mean, like Alex said, I didn't realize how long I've been trading. Holy shit. Because September 11th today is a big day. Uh, in terms of, dude, for everybody that lived in that area back then, my, when I posted I, I traded during 9-11, the guys in the room were like, holy shit, I was only one years old. I wasn't born yet. I was like, holy crap. You know, I was entering high school or some shit. And I'm like, dude, it kind of puts in perspective how old I am, but it's, I don't look at it as old. I, I think I look at it as more experienced, right? So... So today, I mean, today is a very special day in the sense of, fuck, dude, you, it's been 18 years since 9-11. I was there at Ground Zero when the fucking plane hit. I was one mile from Ground Zero. I lived in downtown on 8th Street. I don't know if you guys know New York City, 8th Street downtown. And my friend told me, yo, Bao, uh, the planes crashed into the World Trade Center. I was like, bullshit, whatever, dude. You're fucking around you know i thought she was joking around i fucking turned on the news like what the fuck fucking stock started tanking i was like holy fuck what the fuck what the fuck you know and so and back then to be honest i, I don't i don't remember was i shorting i don't know i was shorting stocks back then i was trading penny stocks but i i remember it fucking tanked down i was like holy fuck and there was tanks everywhere my first impression what the fuck is going on this must be fake and so Trust me, man. There was a huge fear. Everyone changed their life. No one, like that year, no one wanted to go to New York, New York, uh, New Year's Eve events. I was still, I'm still scared to this day. New Year's Eve in New York City, when there's millions of people on Times Square, guys, they can fucking really fucking do some damage. You know what I'm saying? So, I, it's been almost 20 years, and I still live, kind of like, not in fear, but, but it, it kind of like fucking makes me kind of cautious which is not good i mean i have always been the free spirited do what the fuck i want to do but then i was like fuck dude i I lived in new york for all those years never went to times square for new year's eve because i was fucking scared of 9-11 i mean fuck i i visited that building often i had a full-time job there as a sales engineer i visited 9-11 just the week before so many people fucking died in there you know what i'm saying and so so if you think about life and trading, I never thought life would go back to normal. But I knew life was going back to normal because, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not one of those guys who are always going to fucking cry forever. It's like, you know, you, it's like life goes on, man. You know, shit happens. That's because I came over from Vietnam. I've seen much worse, much worse, much worse. Um, and so here we are today. People forgot about it. They build monuments around it. They build all this stuff. And so every 9-11, I think it's kind of spooky for me. I still do not fly on 9-11, guys. I mean, so that kind of changed my life in the sense of, you know, I certain shit. And so maybe that's why today subconsciously I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm glad that there's no plays because I don't want to fucking, fucking like, have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, whatever. Because it's fucking scary, man. I mean, I was fucking there. They shut down my streets. I saw smoke everywhere. There were tanks, dude. There were tanks. I didn't know we were getting invaded. I didn't know what the fuck's going on. You know, you can't trust anybody. You can't trust the government. Whatever it is. And so, so today is kind of weird. So I, I didn't, I mean, I, I woke up today. I knew it was 9-11. I sent a tweet about it. But then I didn't realize that maybe subconsciously, maybe this is why I walked away. But whatever the reason, this is a good, this is a very good example. If, if your personal life is in chaos... Sometimes you got to dial back on trading. I could have stayed there and then really just not trade and just watch and stuff. But, you know, I wanted to get outside. And so if things are going bad in your life and your personal life, you do not have to trade. Take a pause. Trading is fucking great in the sense of you don't have to show up for work. No one tells you that you must show up to trade. You trade when it's best and most optimal for you. And if your mental state is in chaos, it's not the optimal time for you to trade. So you need to be two things when you're trading. You have to be coherent. You have to be physically, mentally prepared to trade. If you're pissed off, you fought with your girlfriend, you know, you have 9-11 issues, whatever the hell it may be, take the day off. That's number one. Number two is the setups. The stock itself, the setups have to be, they have to be in 
you know, in your advantage too. So not only do you have to be physically fit to trade and mentally fit to trade, you have to have the setups. Can you guys hear me by the way? I'm making sure you guys can hear me. I deviated from my process today. I don't have my hat. It's all fucking kind of hot out here. Kind of like messing up my, my mojo. I'm making sure you guys can hear me because uh, I'm going to have my headphones on and stuff. Cool. Thanks, guys. So that's my, my 911. I, I don't... Yeah, I cannot believe it's been 18 years, guys. Seriously. I was just like a little kid back then. Holy shit, dude. I'm, I'm trying to look back and I remember how it was. I lived in uh, 8th Street. So, I mean, most of you guys probably only know 911 because of the fucking TV and the memorials and stuff. But, man, that's, I can't believe it's been 18 years already. So, what I want to do is this, guys. I wanted to bring someone on. Because I... I love IG Live because I get to bring people on. And so who wants to go on? Uh, raise your hand. I love to talk to traders. I love to see what, you know, how we can improve what you guys are learning and just gain the pulse of the community. So whoever wants to get on, just just request to get on or raise your hand and say, I want to get on or something. Could we talk about anything, man? So just raise your hand. You guys want to get on? arms getting tired <laughs> you know there's really no i there's so much i want to do but i i don't i want to keep it short you know my whole thing is i i i the youtube thing was awesome but it doesn't let people come on so hey donnie all right who wants to get on guys let me see don't be shy i know people are work so probably a lot of the times you know people at work they're not going to get on so I guess you just didn't watch me walk around. <laughs> Everyone scared? Everyone scared to get on? Come on, get on, guys. You want me to pick someone? Let me pick a random individual. I'm gonna pick someone I never, I don't see it. So waiting for Clint. I was gonna randomly pick the individual, Clint. <laughs> I know you guys at work, so if you gotta work, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I woke up. I fucking worked and went to work out. <laughs> Bed hair. All right, who wants to get on? Let me, let me get on. Joey Juice Man. Want to get on, buddy? Let me see. No problem, Clint. Understood, Joey. Let me see if she can get on. I'm gonna pick some random people. I don't think you guys want to just. Uh... Oh, the hand waves or the uh, the waves or the hand? Let me see. Okay, I... let me try that. That's weird. Some of these I can't really. There you go. Rogalia. Is that a tooth? Waiting for Rogalia. Rogalio. I need a device to hang my phone on my neck. So when I walk it like this, that might be a cool thing, man. A little, a little fucking selfie holder on my neck. What do you guys think? My arm is fucking hurt. All right. Let's try a different individual here. Rogalia didn't reply. Let me see. Norley. Declined. This is like me going to the bars trying to talk to girls. <laughs> Declined. 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 Yo. Hey. Hey, what's, Dude, what's up, up, my friend? How you doing? This is so fucking random. Tell everybody your name, brother. Uh, I'm Brandon. Yeah, I'm in MIC. What's going on, bro? Oh, shit. What's your name in MIC? Uh, Brandon W. Oh, shit. You're Brandon W. What's yeah. up? Yeah. What's, what's up, man? 
<laughs> what's up? Wait, what's your uh, Instagram name? I, I forgot who I clicked on. Ah, uh, Ristry B. Okay. It's like a little watch page I have, yeah. <laughs> oh, how you doing, brother? Good, good, man. Good. I just walked away like half an hour ago. I came outside for a little bit. Oh, yeah? You were trading? Yeah. Uh, nothing set up for me, but I was waiting for a trade. I was looking at um, the seventy five crack on TTO. Oh, so what's yeah. that now? I went, I went up like 210 and came back down? Yeah, no. Nah, I went up to like 230, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah. What's that now? <laughs> uh, Yeah, I know. Outside, look, check it out. I'm down by the water. Oh, <laughs> shit, where, where do you live, man? Uh, I'm like an hour north of Manhattan. Oh I'm shit, this is nice. Right now. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> look, check it out. <laughs> are you? Are you? Do you live there? You on vacation or what's up? No, nah, I live over here. Oh shit, sweet man. So how things yeah. going? Everything's good, man. How long how have you joined? And all, how long um, have you joined? I joined in January this past January, and. So I've been in what uh, – this is my ninth month. And I was longing for a while, but I was I was switched to um, a Cobra account not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago. So I can short now. Okay. So I've been focusing on the death. Oh, it's been going a lot better for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, after cool. this coming January, so that'll be three years done trading for me. Boy. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, so you've been MIC for eight months. Around eight months? MIC What's for it? eight months shopping going on three years. So – 220, so they said, TTO. Oh, shit. Fuck that, dude. Uh, no uh, problem, I, I, by the way. My pleasure, man. I figured I'm oh, doing it. He said thanks for the stuff in the um, oh. fundamental chat. I'm, I, I'm doing it. I might as well post it anyway, right? I don't know if it's like dude. I try my best. <laughs> so how – how tell people your progression, dude. Because a lot of people are curious, like, you know, like how how you're able to do this. So, I mean, I'm yeah, sure it's so, a lot of ups and downs, dude. So tell us the ups and downs. Yeah, and it is. Progressing. I, I agree. Yeah, I, absolutely. I agree with that. There's a lot of ups and downs. I think um, we were talking about it this morning in chat uh, about process. And you said it the best, man. You said that there's no A-plus setups. There's only A-plus process. Uh, dude, Nick, yeah, what's up, bro? Dude. What up? <laughs> and, um, yeah, so when I started, man, it was like just trying everything. You know what I mean? It's like walking into a casino for the first time. You want to play every single game. And yep. there's just every it's shiny, it's fun, and you just want to touch everything. You know what I mean? So I think what really has been helping me because I'm still struggling with the consistency aspect. You know what I mean? I understand everything, or I like to think right. I do. I still study and everything a couple hours a day, man. You know what I mean? But it's just the consistency yeah. aspect. So um, I think what is helping me uh, get to that point and what can help new people is just focusing on that one pattern. You know what I mean? And uh, after you can find your consistency in that one pattern, you can branch out a little bit. Right. So I think. So let me let just, me ask you this though. Yeah. So you have you been figuring out like why you're not consistent? Is it because your entries are bad? You have FOMO. You have bad risk management. What do you think it is? Uh, dude. I, well, it was back to what I was saying. It was trying to touch too much of everything. Okay. I think, in okay. my opinion, you know what I mean. And I wasn't okay. really understanding um everything as much as i should have if i was just taking my time you know what i mean okay yeah you wanted to so, get rich overnight you try to hit everything that moved yeah <laughs> so yep. i was um same thing as everybody man same thing as me yeah. when i started so i think focusing on that one thing and then just keeping because I, I never really had a problem with like stopping out when i said i was going to stop out like i'm not stubborn with that you know what i mean but it's yeah. just like that's good at least actually, that's good yeah, it's taking the stuff that I know to take and not the random stuff. You know what I mean? Correct. Yeah, you know, so you, I think... you can try this. I mean, a good trick would be, let's say you, you put in 100 shares to learn new stuff. If you want to yeah. hit the new stuff, just make sure you use tiny size. Yeah, well, that was my thing, too, is because when I was like, it was getting to the point where that was tiny size. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So I got you. I, now we're at the point where it is. So now I can yeah. actually try this stuff with tiny size, and it definitely worked a lot better. Correct. Yeah. So that's good, dude. Yeah, bro. So what do you what what strategy are you focusing on now? You see the death line. Yeah, the death line. Mm-hmm. Okay. So tell us the last death line play you did and what your thought process and how you executed it. Um the last one was S I N T and that one was okay, but there wasn't a lot of meat on it. You know what I mean? But uh, um, uh yeah. Yeah, so uh I was out green, it was small but it, it was as far as execution goes, I was happy with it, but it wasn't a lot of meat on the play. But basically, Correct. it's um, I wait for that last support or um, basically where people would get back. You know what I mean? 
And then yeah, yeah. I wait for it to confirm under that. And then I look to get in on the pops. Yep. And yeah. then I just stop out at a point where like the trade would be invalidated on the chart, that little downtrend mm -hmm. or whatever you want to talk about. And then uh -huh. that's just how I go with it. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So um, how about the play before that? What, what was I playing, playing before that? No, no, the death line before that. I just want to see a couple of trades that you're doing and see how, you know, your, your thought process. Yeah, so that was S-I-N-T. I'm trying to remember. Um, I traded something yesterday. Man, I forget, though. <laughs> um, uh, you know, you know, you yeah. know what the awesome thing, though? Knowing the death line knows when you – it gives you, like, the – let me see. How, how do I say this best? Just because you don't have to trade the death line, it just gives you – so you know not to chase it. A lot of people get trapped. Chasing Yuma, well, yeah, TTO today too. Even though there wasn't a lot of meat on that, if dollar seventy five cracked, but you if you like if you guys look on the chart, it never went under yep. it and stayed under dollar seventy five. And at ten thirty, yep. it spiked up, and now it's at, it made new high at two thirty. You know what I mean? So, so that's the thing. So your knowledge of the death line makes you wait and not fucking overcommit right at mm -hmm. the death line because that's where because the death line is usually the trap line. Yeah, if, if they, 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 they <laughs> trap all the guys, and that's what you saw. Dude, the fucking one seventy five to one two thirty. That's, that's dude. Sick, that's game dude. over. That's yeah. game over. <laughs> it's crazy. I used it when I was um, like for my long thesis. You know what I mean? To make sure it was right. over that. So when yes, it's holding, yes. and I know it's like getting later in the day, I'm like, all right, well, I got to get out of here because I was staring at it, and I'm like, I got to stop myself before I touch it. <laughs> when, when when I see something like that, I'm just walking away because I know that there is an algo, there's something that is manipulating it. And so when it's something that precise, you see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, they were popping it up. As soon as I got it down to it, went like right back up. And I'm like, this is weird. So I, like, yo, yep, it, it, yep. too weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm not dead. It's too same weird. Thing as, same thing as Fran, F-A-R-N. So yeah. it, doesn't mm -hmm. even, it doesn't even have to be the death line. So Fran yesterday was hovering around VWAP all day. So I've been channel scalping that you, you saw, right? And so yeah, I know, I remember that, I, yep. keep tell, I keep telling the room, there's something weird. They keep saving this fucking sock. And, yeah. and lo and behold, the last fucking half hour, they just Yo, fucking boost shot 50%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it did, yeah. And then especially, too, if you swung that short, screwed, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, and it never broke so, down. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing, man. So knowing, knowing the death line, knowing – so I moved the death line. So there's two things, right? There's the VWAP line and there's the death line. And so both of them kind of act like a death line. Mm -hmm. If you play them wrong, <laughs> if you play them wrong, you're dead. <laughs> so, so the VWAP is important because most people trade off the VWAP. Yeah. The people that don't understand the, the death line stuff, because that's more, that's more like MIC kind of proprietary shit. Yeah. But, yeah uh, no, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone knows it now, so it's cool. Whatever. Yeah, but it's how you. Yeah. But um, I'm glad people know it because. <laughs> uh, yeah, it helps people. But uh, VWAP, it's like people they play the game because the old way of trading was this. Oh, it's under VWAP. Let's hammer the fuck out of it because mm -hmm. it's over. Game over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> line yep. in the sand. Where the fuck, right? <laughs> and that is that is not the line in the sand. Death line, true backside by any means. Yeah, that's when they okay? trap you. <laughs> that's the fucking death line for for trapping. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. So, so I'll give this little clue for everybody that fucking is out there. Okay, mm -hmm. um, these stocks are being able to fucking zombie and wrap. They're all lower float stuff. Yeah. And they're overly rotated stuff. So Fran yesterday, F A R N yesterday was super uh, like one point seven really, like really two point seven. Yeah. Small fucking float. It rotated I, ten times. It, what did it trade yesterday? I had to close like twenty mil. Twenty twenty two million. Something Some crazy like that. that. Yeah. That's not hard to save volume. at that point, you know, right? So so that's the thing, man. So they're able people go, How the fuck can they save a stock that's down? 60 yeah. cents on a VWAP. That's because they own the whole fucking float. Yep. <laughs> you need the so, confirmation. I mean, yep. So I love it because, you know what, amateur shorts, the people that just started shorting, they blow up because they're they're learning from these guys. They're like, oh, if it's under VWAP, it's over. Slam it. <laughs> <laughs> and like, fuck, dude. And so that's why we watch the death line very carefully yeah. because, because we can figure out where it is, around where it is, and then – and we see the gains around there. If it if it fucking starts being saved, you go, oh fuck, man, get the fuck out. And so Aloha, Aloha did great today, going long Yuma. Why? Yeah, he had the first bounce on that. That was sick. I zoomed fucking out. Sick. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so I'll explain to the people how that was able to happen. Okay, so he did two strategies on it. 
So I keep saying when there's multiple indicators that are lining up, is mm-hmm. a greater chance that will happen. So there's two right. things. So he's playing the first bounce because, dude, a first bounce is, you know, it, it went up huge in a fucking tent real fast. So it has to have a big one, okay, because it's overly rotated already. Okay, so that's the first bounce. And the second thing is, dude, the first half bounce occurred right near zombie hours. Yeah, it did. Yup. It was, I think oh, it was like 10, 20 ish, right? Yeah, 2022. Yeah. So, <laughs> like right there. So no. I'm like, okay, it's tanking during zombie hour. Hmm, it's tanking right to the fucking the bottom support and it's zombie hour approaching. Holy fuck. It's like, if you yep. think about it in hindsight, it's <laughs> easier in hindsight, right? Oh, I know but, it's but, but, <laughs> but the next, But the next time it comes, and you have a small, super low floater tanking, and it hasn't had the big bounce yet, like the first yep. bounce, because it's overly rotated, and it's about to hit zombie hour. Go along. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's because when like they... toast. Yep. Yeah, man. 100%. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, I yeah. mean, when I saw that, I was like, the past few weeks, they've trade. been real low floats. A few, like, the past few weeks, they've been real small. A lot of yep. them. And they've, been, they've been, and they've been zombie. Yeah, everything Wait, sub, the, like, almost three, I want to say. Like, sub three mil. A lot of the runners the past few weeks. Correct. Yeah, it's and, crazy, and, though. It's but, good for longs. But, 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 now, going back to you, because you've been focused on the death line. Mm-hmm. Why the death line is truly breached? What's the percentage that comes back? I, I would say, like, a, one in ten is the only time that Oh, comes dude, back. I tested it pretty hard. Um... Not often. <laughs> yeah, 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 not yep. often. Yep. Yeah. yep, not often. I won't, I won't give you the exact percentage unless yep. you want me to, but it's not no, often. Join <laughs> MIC and Brandon will teach you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit me up. <laughs> not often. Yeah, so yeah dude, me, I, I, like, I went back and I, I think, tested Yeah, no, I did, yeah. Okay. It really doesn't come up that much after. Like, once that's confirmed, you're good to go. You know what I mean? Really, what you want is yep. the meat on there, and you're you're cool. But um, I think yep. Harry and Alex yep. were talking a few weeks back, maybe a month or two about. Uh, I think Steinberger is that how you say his last name, Doctor Steinberger? Yeah, yeah Dr. they were Brett, posting yep. about like his ex- uh, experiment or something like that. So my thing right now is to focus on this for the next few months, and that's it. And then if I could do that, um, like that, this is what I'm experimenting on you know what i mean trading that one pattern and then the goal is consistency at the end of it after a few months so that that's what i'm on right now let's see how it so, goes <laughs> so there's, there's two patterns you do the low hanging fruit and the death line in my opinion those are the best for shorting i like the low hanging i personally don't execute the low hanging fruit but i make my watch list every night yeah correct so well i just start tracking that. the orders yeah start, i did start tracking that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah those and, two and you go, those are, MIC flagship patterns right there. Death line and uh, what up, Porter? And uh, what hanging <laughs> fruit is gold. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. Start tracking and start trying with a small size. 100 shares just to get comfortable. But which, yeah. which is great. You use Cobra, so it's uh, it's pretty much free trading because you have rebates, Dude, right? Dude, Cobra's sick. Yeah, rebates? Cobra's great. So, yeah, yeah awesome. you have EC and rebates, so you pretty much trade for free. Or, yeah. or it's like a dollar, dollar. <laughs> It's so cheap, man. It's so cheap. Even if you're under PAT, uh, their Venom platform, it's cheap, too, for people. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, commissions, because that's who I was with before, that they're a dollar, too, man, on, on Venom. Yep. It, you know, it, it works out for uh, new guys. It's perfect. Yep. Join MIC. You get all your money back right there, dude. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, program. my God. <laughs> when I used to trade crazy, like, a year ago, like, not knowing what I was doing, there was days I spent on TD so much money in commissions. You don't even oh, know. Yeah. Like, yeah, trust me. If I knew that, then I'd be so happy. <laughs> so fucking so awesome, man. Hey, yeah, who's your tab, man? Who's your tab? Uh, my tab is people. Cody Cat. I think he's in here. Cody, say what up. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? Cody, yeah, I got okay? A, yeah, I got a few. Meet him. I got a few. Me and him came into MIC together, though, in January. We've, we've been trading together for three years since we both started. Dude, that's fucking so, awesome, man. Yeah, we were tab so, before tabs. <laughs> So I mean, you, so yeah, so you can pretty much preach the same thing we preach about the importance of a tab, right? Dude, it helps so much. It, it really does. You know what I mean? There he is. Say what up, Code. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't think either of us would still be going at it if it or we like didn't have that um that feedback in the past two three years. You know what Correct. I mean? Yeah. Just so like, you're in New, so you're in New York. So so Alex better see you at the meetup, bro. Nah, I, so I work on the weekends. I don't work um during the week. Oh. I waiter, dur- I waiter and bartend Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
and oh shit we got like eight people who work at this restaurant so i can't get off <laughs> i used it oh, i, I used you. it to go down to philly i was down in philly but uh yeah i'm not gonna okay. be able to make it out there unfortunately oh next one next one we'll, we'll, next one man I'm next gonna, one yeah hell yeah it's all I'm, good I'm gonna, <laughs> I, i'm gonna make sure alex does something special with you man you're a good guy man thanks for coming on brother that, man yeah it's no problem bro no fret uh cool yeah man thanks for having me on All right, I want yeah, right? I'm, that's I'm, the I'm, deal quarter I could trade all week. <laughs> yeah. So before you leave, tell tell the guys watching a little bit of advice, one last comment or statement or whatever you want to say. Uh take it slow guys, the market's literally not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like you're you're gonna first join and you're gonna want to make a bunch of money, you're probably just gonna lose all your money. So start small, paper trade. I wish I paper traded and then just test out what you're doing and then you'll get there. You know what I mean? I, like as long as you keep at it, you'll get there. Just take your time. No like nothing's going anywhere. You'll be good. That's how that's what <laughs> I'd the, say. Yeah, patient. And look, look what Brandon's doing. Brandon's also having a job. Yeah. You know, all these guys so, think that they need to quit their work. No, you don't. Dude, that's I spend thirty some. hours of work in between like Friday night and Sunday night. You know, like, it's nothing crazy, but, like, you got to do what you need to do. You know what I mean? You make them both work. It's all good. Correct. Correct. That's a, awesome, brother. Yeah. I'll man. see you soon, brother. Try. Cool, bro. I'll see you later, I'm man. Take to... care. Enjoy your Take day. Take care, guys. Peace. Thank you. All right, guys. That was a great one, man. The first time I met Brandon on camera. Great guy. Great guy. Just shows you that, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people out there working their butt off, <clears throat> but they're realistic. They know that it takes hard work. And it's not overnight. And that's the key guys. Uh, probably scared off a lot of people when he said that there's a lot of work <laughs> involved and that's, it should scare people off. Yeah. I don't want you guys to get in and be sold that this stuff is going to be easy overnight. You're going to be, become a million overnight. No, you will. You can, you really can. If you put your work into it. I've taught guys that, that was making a hundred dollars a day to a million dollars a fucking year into a million dollar a day. A day that I'd made money on Fannie Mae, my guy that I mentored before Alex made a million bucks in four hours. I mean, took many years, but he got there, right? Started out trading a hundred dollars a day, three hundred dollars a day, thousand dollars, two thousand, built the bankroll, and over five years, that's what it took. So thanks, guys. I'll see you guys. I'll post this up, but uh, hopefully that will motivate you. <laughs> see you guys in New York. I'm not going to be there. Alex will be there. So hit us up if you have any questions. Bye. Bye-bye.